of long ago, when the Holy Ones still visited this land, a young Navajo named Turquoise Boy looked down on his people. Turquoise Boy was saddened and thought, The people work hard in their fields and search long in the desert for food. Surely there is something to make life easier for them. Changing woman said to him, You must prove yourself worthy. Perhaps you would find the answer with talking gods on the white shell mountain of the east. So, Turquoise Boy went to see the talking gods. However, the talking gods gave him white shells and asked him to go to the sacred turquoise mountain. But the talking gods sent him away with only a basket of blue stones. Turquoise Boy traveled to west to see the talking gods, but they also gave basket of shells and sent him to Black Jet Mountain of the North. Again, the talking gods of the North did not give him the answer. Take this basket of jet stones and return to your mother, they said. When he returned to Changing Woman, she smiled and gave him a small pouch of soft deer skin. The pouch had stone and shell from each god. Take this to your father, she said. Surely he will see your worthiness. Turquoise boy tied the pouch to his belt and traveled towards some bear's home in the east. The journey to his father was rough, but Turquoise boy said, I am not afraid, I have songs to protect me. Turquoise boy chanted rhythmically, Beauty before me, beauty behind me, beauty above me, and beauty beneath me. And then he was able to reach to some bear's great hogan. Turquoise boy asked his father, the people work hard in their fields and search long in the desert for food. Surely there is something to make their lives easier. Walking is slow and tiring. Perhaps there is a better way to get from place to place. Sun Bearer frowned and sent Turquoise Boy back to his mother. With a heavy heart, Turquoise Boy walked back and then found a letter sticking up from a hole in the ground. He found marriage man down there and asked for a way to make life easier for the people. The marriage man showed white sun bearer's horses. Then from changing woman's pouch, he took the white shell and placed it in the horse's mouth. Next, he removed it and returned it to the pouch together with pollen from the horse's mane. The marriage man did the same ritual to sky-colored horse with a turquoise stone. Then, he showed yellow and black heart too. Each time, Mirage Man rolled the purple shell or stone in the horse's mouth and shook pollen from its mane. Turquoise Boy said, These animals would indeed make life easier for the people. How can you prove worthy of such a gift? Mirage Man answered, You must learn to keep the horse sacred. And he taught Turquoise Boy a holy song. Turquoise Boy returned home and Changing Woman prepared deer skin and ears of white corn, yellow corn, blue corn, and corn of many colors. She sprinkled the sacred pollen and chanted. The people and talking gods gathered. Moon was there and mirage men and the mist people. Some bearer joined them also. Over the night, they all sang. Suddenly, there was neighing under the deer skins as they trembled and began to rise. Then it became horses. Navajo rejoiced for their gift and for changing woman and for turquoise boy. To this day, the people of Dineta offer pollen to the winds and they chant for the sacred horse. How joyous he neighs, how joyous he neighs.